Well, hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. And if you are new here, I hope you enjoyed today's video well enough to stick around and subscribe. So today we're going to Ross, but I'm also taking you guys on the beginning process of a staging project. I'm stopping by a home to make some suggestions to the homeowners on ways in which they can make their home light, bright, beautiful, and most importantly, sellable. And then when we're done here, we will go to Ross, pick up a few items for the kitchen, and then I will share what I picked up. So my main goal here at the home is to help the homeowner to um, decide how to declutter, choose paint colors, choose carpet for the downstairs, well, actually the entire home, and then make lighting suggestions. I am also here to help them to minimize their flaws, but to definitely maximize the strong points. And as you can see, there is a beautiful pond that you see as you look out their living room window. So our goal is to make the living room light and bright and focus your attention right outside the window. So they have already cleared out the furniture, they have painted and changed the carpet. They haven't changed the lighting yet, but we are working on it. Now the dining room, this is the before, and they've also started the process in here as well. And they use the same paint color. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, and then they also changed the carpet. And I don't think we're changing the light. Now the kitchen is a different story. We really did need to change the lighting. They had already painted the cabinets out in white and changed the countertops. And so as you can see, using the proper lighting, the daylight bulbs that I shared in one of my latest videos, it just made the kitchen bright. And so here I'm looking at the color of the backsplash and the countertops so that when I go out, I will have an idea of what to choose. Now, this is the basement. Now, everything down here has already been removed and um, except this wall unit but they've painted already, the carpet has been changed, and they have also changed the lighting. And it has made such a difference in the space down here. Now this is the before deck, and this is the new deck. They um, just tore down the entire deck and they switched out the wood deck for a composite material. And guys, this deck helps to expose the pond that you see as you step out onto the deck. And it's going to be beautiful, guys. So you will not want to miss the reveal of this deck. This is just phase one. Okay, so now we're at Ross. And so here, like I said before, I'm just going to pick up a few items for the kitchen. And so what I like to do when I shop um, for a staging project is to use colors that the homeowner are already comfortable with. And so they use navy blue and turquoise and teal, I think, in their kitchen. And so those are the colors that I'm going to focus on today. But because this is a staging project, we're not going to use a lot of color because our goal is to make the home look bright and open. So I am going to use a few accents, but because of their furniture situation, um, it's going to be better to choose lighter colors. Now, typically, I don't use a tablecloth in staging projects, not unless it's absolutely necessary. And I'm looking at this one because they have brown tables in both their kitchen and in their dining room. And so 
this may come in handy I'm not sure I generally just put a lot of things in the cart and I will choose at the end what I will need sometimes I'll get home and decide that I don't need things so it's better to buy now than uh, to have to come back and so I know that I want some cutting boards for the kitchen and I can't decide do I want the marble or the wood or both I don't quite know but I know from the looks of the countertop I'm leaning a little more towards the uh, marble but I also want to bring in some wood elements because of the wood table so like I said put them in the cart and make the decision later and even if I used one piece of, uh, of wood I think it would work with some of the marble so I'm just looking for other pieces that maybe will be a little bit more interesting than the trio I showed you up um, at first now I'm picking up the one with the gold but I'm not real sure if that's going to make the cut And I know some lighter placemats would look nice on the kitchen table and that would keep us from having to use the um, tablecloth. So we'll see what we can find. And I did find some ivory color placemats and they had six. So I think I'm going to go ahead and place those on my cart. Now they have the silver and the gold. I'm not sure at the moment which metal I will use in the home. I'm leaning towards gold, but I don't think gold will be a good fit for the placemats. So now we're here looking at more of the kitchen items and I am drawn to these bowls with the textured little nubby uh, finish and bowls can be used in a lot of different ways so I'm thinking of uh, two of them for uh, maybe florals or fruit or just maybe to showcase them in the kitchen but I like the color and the price you can't beat the prices here at Ross now this is the medium size bowl for $3.99 and I was just going to get that one but when I looked at the prices guys I thought you need to go ahead and get all three so that's what I did for now I don't know they may work out they may not $2.49 for the very small one I thought was an excellent price for the um, trio now this cutting board I thought was beautiful but I thought it was a little busy for her countertops so I passed on that one there's some more wood elements but I'm not sure now you guys know I'm drawn to this one maybe for my home I don't know <laughs> now these were some beautiful plates but I don't typically use plates when I'm staging um, unless I don't have any other decor Plates can be kind of tricky because I don't want to leave the homeowner with work to do because when you have your dishes out you do have to keep them clean 
now I thought those were pretty bows but like I said those were more of what I wanted but we're not here for me So I'm trying to find some interesting, pretty trending type of decor, things that are um, trending now and that are current, because that's one thing that you don't want your home to look dated when it's on the market. Um, so yeah, these are pretty good price, but too dark for our project. And of course, I like things in the kitchen that makes it look like you're a good cook or you have a gourmet kitchen. So I was looking for a salt and pepper shaker, maybe some oils, but I didn't find anything here. I do need flowers for the project, but um, I was really looking more for little pots of greenery and I think I'll um, be able to find those at Home Goods, but I did think this um, basket or um, bag of fruit was a good idea. I thought the color was a great pop for her green backsplash or even her dark um, countertops. And you guys know I'm always looking for candles, no matter whether it's my home or someone else's. And I like to bring in a candle that does coordinate with the decor, but I also like to keep it um, neutral as well. Now those seem to match the uh, dish towel, so that might be a plus. And I just, I don't like to pick anything that's too fussy or colorful or cartoonish I like to keep it classic and elegant when I choose candles and so sometimes if I like a container I may take off the label or turn it around and definitely take off the price tag and once you just leave a solid colored glass it just looks so much more elegant Now those were a pretty trio, but I passed on those. Now this is more of what I was thinking of, something decorative or just a solid color. Of course you would remove the tag and they just have more of an elegant look. So now we're taking a look at the decor. Now we don't really, at this point, we don't really need decor because I first like to look at what the homeowner has before we go out and buy new decor because this is a budget friendly project. And so if I can use some of the homeowner's um, decor, I would like to do that first. Plus guys, you wanna stay away from taste Pacific decor when you're staging because you don't want the focus to be on the decor you want it to be on the home And here we're going to take a look at some of the pictures. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> excuse me. Okay. I'm not sure if we need artwork because she said she had some canvases and I mentioned to her that we can, you know, wipe them out and paint over them. And so she was all for that because like I said, this is a budget friendly project but I'm just going through to see what they have just in case it's um, quicker to just purchase something as opposed to making it. Like this one here, this is a pretty simple design. If we needed to change out the colors, we could, or I could. <laughs> and so here I'm just looking at the food section because like I mentioned, I like to put food in the kitchen as decor because it helps to make the kitchen look 
lived in and make it look like you're a good cook and they'll be a good cook if they buy this house. So yeah, I like to put um, food in the kitchen when I can. Um, I also like to have it uh, match my decor. So none of these pink items will do, but I thought that bottle of avocado oil might look pretty against the backsplash, but I didn't pick it up. Interesting. So sometimes you just have to look um, behind things, push things out. I didn't put that candy there, nor did I open it. I was hungry though. Yeah, so a, a, a bowl with some uh, different types of gourmet chips in it is always appealing. Okay guys, so we're heading to the checkout and now I'm going to share with you the things that I did pick up. So this is um, not my typical haul because this is not uh, going to my home. I didn't want to bring it inside my home, so I'm doing the haul from my tailgate. And um, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just giving you guys a look at some of the decor, some of the colors, and um, just to give you a feel for what the kitchen may look like. And so this will be probably one of many trips. And so here I'm showing you the picture that is in the back of the tailgate and then a few more that I may bring to her home from my home. So guys, this is going to be a beautiful makeover. So please make sure your bell notifications are turned on so that you don't miss out because these tips and ideas are not just for someone who is selling their home, but they will also help you with your existing home. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the reveal. Now, I did not forget about my home, but I did kind of put it on the back burner so that I can help her with hers. So I'll see you at the next one. Have a great weekend, everyone.